I think if he wanted to go to L.A., if the trade went through, I think it would be because he knows, A, championships end up underscoring your greatness in the NBA. Let's face it, we just don't take players seriously that don't win championships. Not at that next level, that pantheon level. So to win championships, it just hasn't happened in New Orleans. And you play alongside LeBron and knowing how aggressive the Lakers are and knowing the history of the franchise, you know you're in conversations to win championships. And I think that would be the first part for AD. I think the second part would be, while LeBron has a huge, he casts a huge shadow, LeBron is getting up there in age. And I think LeBron is ready to defer to a superstar. He's not ready to defer to middle-of-the-road guys, but I think he's ready to defer to superstars that work well alongside him. Look, no matter what you say about LeBron, I think he always wanted Kyrie Irving to become great under him, knowing it would take up more of the slack. I think LeBron has gotten smart about that. I think the, the problem was Kyrie's ego didn't allow him to be alongside LeBron. And that, I think that started clashing with the two. And LeBron's got an ego as well. I think now, even a couple of years later, I think the idea is, look, Anthony Davis is a super-duper star and a Hall of Famer that can take over games single-handedly. I think LeBron's much more comfortable at this point in his career saying, okay, you can be the one, I can be the 1A. And let's face it, Kyrie's great, but Kyrie's not Anthony Davis, which... I think Kyrie thought he was Anthony Davis. I think Kyrie still thinks he's Anthony Davis. I don't know if AD is ever going to be feel comfortable leaving New Orleans because I do think he's a loyal guy. I think he's a good guy. I think he's an easily rootable guy. But if it went down, would he play alongside LeBron? I believe so.